Oh, it's going to be two? I'm going to be eating two. Well, good evening, my Facebook friends around the world, Mr. Sunshine and Mr. Tony Malia, Tony the Tiger, coming right here at yours truly, and that would be live at Mr. Chow. And let me tell you something. We got a lot going on here tonight. As a matter of fact, we've got, what are these right here? These are prawns. Prawns with walnuts. Glazed prawns. Glazed prawns and walnuts. Nancy Hobbs. You know, Nancy, it's a little hard for me right now. It's a little hard for Mr. Tony Malia here. And you know what? He said it was okay to film this fantastic dinner. Um, we're going to show you here in just a few minutes as soon as more people line up. Of what we got going on here. Uh, what we have right here, we are live here at Mr. Chow, okay? And what you're going to witness tonight, what you're going to witness tonight, you know normally see. All right, we're going to bring it to you live. Uh, there's, there's Tony Malia right there. What do you have there, Tony? What are you drinking right there? So like a little pomegranate martini. You got a pomegranate martini. Well. Wow. Oh my god. You know, Tony, as we sit here in Miami Beach, as we sit here in the lap of luxury. That? Mm. that sauce That's is fantastic yours. right there. That yours. sauce is fantastic. Nancy, let me tell you something, Nancy. Mm. Jerry, here you go, Jerry. Walnut glazed prawns, chili sauce. We're gonna keep the camera down. Tony from Detroit, Michigan, the man, the myth, the legend, and yours truly. Jerry, here Jerry. For those of you that don't know Mr. Chow. You know Jerry, we can sit here and talk about Joe Artie's place. <laughs> we can sit here Talk about Nemecola Williams. You. you sure? Mm -hmm. We can talk tambolinis. But as you can see, what we got going on here. Now I have my jacket and Mr. Oh, Sunshine. That's okay. Mr. Sunshine. That was Anything after? Thank I've been you. wearing like my it. white jacket today. I actually have it sitting right there. I didn't want to get it on my jacket today. We're going to put some of this goodness on here. You're getting the opportunity to see a dinner at Mr. Chow, okay? Now, Tony, you've been traveling around the world. You traveled all over the world. You've been to every restaurant. You've been to some of the most spectacular restaurants uh, ever. Uh, is Mr. Ch you've been to Mr. Chow. They're in uh, where? Las Vegas. Las Vegas. So you've been to, you were in Vegas last week. That's true. And did you go, did you go to Mr. Chow? I did not. I went to uh, Cut and STK. Oh, you were at SDK, the steakhouse. Steakhouse. Well, how was that? How is that steak? Fabulous. Fabulous. There's nothing better than that. Maybe. <laughs> now, have you ever been to Peter Luger's? You've been to Peter Luger in New York. Yeah. Yes. You been there? Yeah. How, how's Peter Luger? The Peter Luger's is great. <laughs> it's a little bit different atmosphere. It's but a little atmosphere, but it's good food. You, if you're you're in the. In the Brooklyn area, you've got to go. You've got to go up there look at. <laughs> mm -hmm. I was actually doing a video at um, Four Brothers Italian Restaurant. And the guys came on, they were watching the feed, and they were at Peter Luger having dinner with the camera watching me at Four Brothers. I mean, it was, it was unbelievable. And they were sitting there actually having dinner. You know, Jerry. And we we still think your pizza. Everything is so far, Yamas. We do have the lobster shumai over here, okay? 
Oh, look at this. Oh, my. The second trip, we still haven't gotten a pizza. You want to get a shot of that? Mm hmm. The lobster. I wonder if you can get out there. Look at that. This is unbelievable. Now, Jerry, we can sit here and talk about Mr. Chow. I like Mr. Chow. <laughs> What's not to like? How's those, how's those, uh, look at that lobster, that is fresh lobster right there, we're actually going to dip it in this fantastic, so did you, have, this sauce is fantastic, this chili sauce is out of this world, ah. just the right amount of zip, just the right amount of zip right there, there ain't nothing better, look at that, Greg Hudson, Greg Hudson, we're sitting here at Mr. Chow's. I got big Tony Malia over here. We had actually had Greg Hudson here a few years ago. And Mr. Chow's? No, no, not Mr. Chow's. He came to, you know, we took him to Caleros. Let me do some Chef Keith Scrap. Well, you know what? Let me tell you something. It is already a fantastic. Oh, sir? man, it's absolutely phenomenal. Thank you. I love Mr. Chow. Oh, thank you. Is there a Mrs. Chow back there? Why don't you send his daughter, Miss Chow, out here? I want to meet Miss Chow. Okay. I'm going to meet Mrs. Chow. Mr. Chow can stay back here working. You just said Miss Chow out here. Go ahead. You can eat that over. Now those are yours. Well, that's all you, Tony. No, those are yours. Oh, Tony. We got a lot of food coming. We got a lot of food. There's a lot of food coming here tonight, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. Greg Hudson, let me tell you something, Greg. This is pure lobster right here. That's just one big chunk of lobster cooked to perfection. Mr. Chow knows what he's doing back there. Oh, my God. I'm actually bringing you an entire dinner for Mr. Chow. Rondo. Here's Rhonda Hirose, all the way up. She's in Corpus Christi, Texas. Hey, Rhonda, this is Tony Malia. Tony lives in Houston. Now, how far is Corpus Christi from you? It's a bit. Is it a bit? It's down toward the bottom of the state. There. Well, let me tell you, Rhonda Hirose, beautiful, beautiful a beautiful place. woman. I'm going to send you Rhonda Hirose. She's actually phenomenal. Let me tell you something. Tony Malia, Detroit, Michigan. Scottsdale, Arizona, Houston, Texas. We're getting them a place down here in Palm Beach, Florida. And we're sitting here with all this goodness. Brian Miller. Brian Miller, we're sitting here at Mr. Chow. We're here at Mr. Chow. I want you to look at that. That is a chunk of cooked lobster, okay? Let me tell you something. We're sitting here at the best restaurant in town. The best restaurant in town. Mr. Chow. Mr. Chow. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Just like Panda Express, but better. <laughs> you know, that sauce has to be phenomenal. I'm telling you what. I'm going to just... Look at that sauce. That sauce is so good. Thank you. Ooh, I need another rice tea. I, I, that, that sauce is so good. So I'm going to use it as a little bit of perfume around behind my ears. <laughs> Another one, then. Fantastic. And another ice cream, right? Yes, please, please. 
Oh, my mouth is burning right now. Can we have some more of that sauce too? Yeah. I'm gonna have that with my, my, my chicken. Now, was there a Mrs. Chow back there? Sorry? Was there a Miss Chow? Yeah. There is a Miss Chow? I don't know. I think he. I it's just Mr. Chow. It's just Mr. Chow. Mr. Chow. Yeah. Well, if he has a daughter, you send him out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll send her daughter out. <laughs> right away. <laughs> Can you get you another cocktail as well? <laughs> Wendy March, good evening. We are here live at Mr. Chow, uh, Miami Beach, uh, one of the best, most beautiful restaurants. We've got Tony Malia here, the big Tony the Tiger. You know, Tony, you eat the best food around the country. You know food better than anybody. Your family was brought in, in with food, You, you even when you were born. Your, your father, he knew food better than anybody. You owned a pizza shop, you owned everything. You were the man that made things go round and round in, <laughs> in Sterling Heights, Michigan. Yes, you were. You fed, you fed the masses. Well, if you can take a look at the beauty and the grandeur here, all the way around. Joanne Kalish. Joanne, we are here at Mr. Chow. That's right, fantastic. I'm actually gonna film the entire dinner here. Uh, Tony said it was okay. So uh, we are here at the W in Miami Beach. Oh, there we go, the little, yes, Dunka. Gotta put one of these sugars in there. Ooh, yeah, boss. Oh yeah, we're gonna need that. Now, Tony. You're planning on coming back next month, right? Or February? Uh, when, probably when? February. You're going to be back in February? I'll be I'll be in Florida next month, so it'll be in Orlando. So you'll be over in Orlando, which is fine. I'm going to go see the rat. What? I'm going to go see the rat. The rat? The rat. The rat. Who's, where's the rat? Mickey Mouse. Oh, you're going to go with Mickey Mouse. Okay. <laughs> you're going up to Orlando to see Walt Disney. Yep. Sandra Hart, that's right. Sandra Hart from Detroit, Michigan. We are here in Miami Beach right now. There you go. Look how beautiful the place is, Mr. Chow. You got the best looking waiters over here. They're all Mr. Chow's in the back. They're actually gonna send, they're gonna send a Mrs. Chow out. I told him to send Mr. Chow's daughter out here. We're gonna have a little talk with her. She's gonna sit and join us tonight. Oh, it's a beautiful thing. I'm telling you what, we're gonna wait till you see the food coming out here. We're already on our what, third course? We're on our third course already. We have about seven more to go. But uh, you know, when you're hanging out with Tony Malia, I'm gonna tell you what, there you you're hanging out with Top quality guy, top of the hill. We ain't going to some greasy spoon. You you don't go to greasy spoons. Sure, I love, I love <laughs> greasy spoon. I'm just trying to get a pizza out of you. I keep trying to, every time. Well, I'm still trying to figure out where you got that big pizza. In February, I'm going to take you there. February, when you come back, I'm taking you there. We're going to get the biggest pizza with the biggest sauce, with nice. the biggest mozzarella cheese, nice. whatever you want on it. I'm going to take care of it. Rhonda Harosa, let me tell you, Rhonda, I actually have my white jacket here, Rhonda. I come in a white a white jacket tonight. All right? We look like Don Johnson from Miami Vice. All right, and right now we're just sitting here enjoying it. We're waiting for the next course to come out. You're ready, you get a load of what we're serving up here. Uh, for those of you just turning in, we are at Mr. Chow. That's right, just as the Marquis states, we're at Mr. Chow's, and uh, they're bringing out all the food. We got everything coming out to Tony. He just tells them everything that's on the menu, you just bring it out. I believe it. <laughs> Isn't that right, Tony? Yeah, everything that comes out, you just, you're gonna eat it. Oh boy. Beautiful. Now, Rhonda, let me tell you something, Rhonda. We're, look at this, they even bring us 
cubes. We have what is this? Cubes of brown sugar? Yep. These are cubes of brown sugar. That's right. As a matter of fact, if you take a look at that brown sugar right there, it's pretty close to what Mr. Sunshine's got cooking right here. Okay. So we're gonna take a look at our brown sugar. Oh, we're gonna show you, Mr. Cap. Michael Brown. Look at that winery over there. There's your bar over there. Look at the bar. Fantastic. The ambience in here, absolutely phenomenal. Get a load of that, huh? The ambulance is beautiful. The, the whole place, the restaurant, the bar, as a matter of fact, I posted a picture of the menu. So you had the opportunity to see the menu. We're gonna show you the, the main course is gonna be coming out here shortly. Um, we just had lobster. We had the lobster. We had the prawns, the glazed prawns with walnuts. You can review the film footage after this video was over. And uh, if you're in the Miami area, you gotta come down here to Mr. Chow, okay? You're gonna get a good, good dinner. You're gonna get a beautiful atmosphere. This was worth the coming down. It's a beautiful trip. You know, I don't get to Miami too often, but when I do, when Tony Malia comes to town, ooh, things are taking place. So we're going to show you some more here. Diane Ob, good evening. You're joining us here at uh, Mr. Chow's. Joanne Kalish out of Denver, Colorado. Love Joanne's Denver. at Denver, Colorado. Yeah. Denver's a lot of fun. Yep, it's my kind of town. Drive over to Aspen. Yep, go right over to Aspen. Here you go. I'm gonna show you some more here. There you go. Let's see how beautiful things are here. There you go. 17 guys at the table. I don't know which one's the waiter. I know. They got so many guys standing around over there. <laughs> Michael Brown, I hope you're having a great night today. Bread guy, dinner guy, guy. We're waiting for our snack. It's old school. Old school right there. We're waiting for our next snackaroo to show up here. And Mr. Chow. It's a beautiful night tonight, to say the very least. So we did a lot in Miami today. We actually took you to the hotel that was in the movie Scarface with... Uh, Al Pacino, the stairway when the chainsaw uh, scene was uh, done, and they come down the stairs that was right there at that hotel, which is now a CBS. So uh, we showed you that today, and then we went all to the stores. Let's take a look at, took a little stroll down Ocean Boulevard there, Ocean okay. Drive. So we're gonna wait here, we got Mr. Chow. We'll be serving up our, our next course here momentarily. So what did you have, a pomegranate martini? Yes. That was a pomegranate martini. Very good. So now you've been to the one Mr. Chow in, in um, Las Vegas. Yes. Now what's the difference between the one in Vegas and here? This is a little bit more formal. This is more formal here in Miami. But the one in uh, Vegas has... Let's turn that around so you can understand what we're talking about. So, so the one in Vegas, the lighting here is a lot different. So the one in Vegas has like, it represents the movement of the earth. So okay. It has the, the moon come down and the whole restaurant goes into like an eclipse. It's really? It's really something to see. And it happens every like 20 minutes. So you're getting a 20 minute show while you're sitting in here with, with well, the, the ambulance. The show's like maybe a few minutes, but it, every, it happens every like 20 minutes. Like the moon comes in. Wow. It's very interesting. So this one here is a more formal thing. This is more formal. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're pretty formal there too, but it's just a little, little bit. Yeah, a lot different. A little bit showier in Vegas. Yeah. They're giving you a sh Yeah, they're giving you more of a show. This is more laid back Miami. Definitely Miami. Yeah, beautiful. But well, we're in one of the best hotels here, dude. The W right here. Classy hotel. Classy hotel. The penthouse that you have is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, he's sitting in a beautiful penthouse here. He knows how to live. Tony Malia, he knows the game better than anybody, okay? And uh, we're going to be sitting here waiting. 
Uh, from Laura Haim. Good evening, Laura Haim. French correspondent, Laura Haim. As a matter of fact, she's from French, from Paris. And uh, she was down here. Hello, Laura Haim. I was supposed to be there in June. You were supposed to go there in June? Yeah. Laura, we are here at Mr. Chow uh, in Miami Beach, uh, right here at the W. I'm with my dear friend, Tony Malia, that was went to school with me in... So he's down here. I'm actually going to get him a place down here as well. And uh, we just we just finished our third course. We're waiting for our next course here. Uh, as a matter of fact, Miss Haim, one of my dearest friends. Here you go. You got the got everybody sitting here. There's the uh, beautiful view here. There's big Tony Malia right here. Tony the Tiger. Uh, he spent the whole weekend down here with me. We went uh, to Taboo. We went over to the Bend. We were over at the Chesterfield Leopard Lounge. And uh, today we spent the day in Miami. That's right, we went down to uh, Ocean Drive. We stopped down and saw Scarface Al Pacino, the hotel used in the uh, scene with the chainsaw as they came down off of there, off right there at uh, Miami Beach. And you can see how beautiful things are here. Uh, we're sitting here right now, waiting for our next course to come out. And it's something you wanna see, Tony and Delino. Tony, you know, Tony, let me tell you something, my friend. Between Tony Malia, right here, Tony Andolino, this is how it goes down, pal. Okay. I actually have my white suit jacket here. Uh, anytime I go anywhere, I'm going to put a nice jacket on. Uh, once we were in the restaurant, naturally, you could take it off. But uh, we're having a fantastic time. Got my eyes on him. Watch him. Yeah, there he is. We're waiting for Mr. Chow to bring our next course out here. We had uh, a whole lobster that was cooked to perfection with this beautiful chili sauce. Uh, we also had um, glazed prawns with walnuts with the uh, chili sauce. So it's, we're really getting a fantastic meal here. Uh oh, here, this might be our food right here. This might be our, our next meal coming out right now. So we're gonna show you uh, what, what we're getting served up here at Mr. Chow's. Now they also have a Mr. Chow in Las Vegas uh, where they have the room that goes to an eclipse. The moon, the sun, uh, every 20 minutes they run this little show at Las Vegas. This one here is a lot more formal, a lot more low keyed. And we're just bringing it to you live. Uh, you're not getting a view from Mr. Chow anywhere else. How much you get me right here? So we're gonna wait here. We're getting to say this already. Got everybody waiting here. Looks like we're gonna be getting ready here pretty soon. So just sit tight. Tony, hope you're having a great night tonight. Excellent. What do you got? Oh, here it comes. Bring our thing. Look at this. Wait. So they're in Beverly Hills, New York, and London. Oh, so they have one in Beverly Hills? Beverly Hills, New York. New and York London. and London. Mr. And, and of course the one in Vegas. And then the one in Vegas and the one here. So we have five locations for Mr. Chow. All right, so they're going to start bringing our food out here, and once they do, we're going to pan it around. We're going to, we're going to put some light on the subject so you can actually see what we're getting served up here from Mr. Chow. For the main course tonight, fiery beef. Fiery beef. Yeah, Look at right. this. Oh, the my. Velvet chicken right here. The velvet oh. chicken. Oh, <laughs> my. Steam rice is all the way. This will be the fried rice. That will be our fried rice. Okay, so we've got fried rice there. We have velvet chicken, and we have, look at this, oh my god, look at this. Super flavorful. This looks fantastic. This is fantastic. Go ahead, that's all you, get started. Well, we got steamed rice over here too. correct. That is fantastic. And then right here, there it is. There it is. Mr. Chow. Okay, there it is, Mr. Chow. We're gonna get our rice together here. Look at this, oh my. It's a little hard, I don't have a film crew. I need a film crew here to film this. Look at this. We, yeah, we need a film crew here. Somebody just sit here and hold the camera. Some of your chicken. Yes, yes, we're gonna we're eating everything. 
Look at this. Look at this. Oh my. That is velvet chicken. Look at that. God, dude. Get a load of what they're serving up here. And we get fresh vegetables too. Oh, yeah. look at this. Beans, okay? Look at the right. string we're beans. Set. We are all set. Velvet chicken. We got the beef here. Look at the full. Yeah, we got to put some of those in there. Oh, look at those steamed vegetables. Oh my God, look at that. Oh shit, I'm making a mess with the spoon. They shouldn't give it a spoon, they should give us a damn uh, flyer thing. There we go. A little hard. Okay, so now you're getting the opportunity. How is it, Tony? How is excellent. it? Is it excellent? Excellent. It's excellent. Incredible. Look at that velvet chicken. Let's get this over here. There you go. You're seeing all of that right there. Look at that. Served up. That's all you can do. Oh my, look at this. We are getting perhaps one of the best meals we want today. All right, so this beautiful beans. Oh. We have the velvet chicken. As a matter of fact, I need some of that sauce. That's what it says. I want to reach over there and grab that, that chili sauce. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, we're bringing you a dinner from Mr. Chow's in Miami Beach, Florida. How is it, Tony? Look, Tony. Look at that beautiful beef served up. My God, you know, we can talk about Robin Leach, lifestyles of the rich and famous, okay? Well, you're talking to Mr. Sunshine here. Now, the fiery beef is actually filet mignon. It's actually filet mignon. We actually have filet mignon, some of the best beef right there. They, they put it, that seasoning on there. And uh, we didn't, anybody could get a, a, a filet mignon, Peter Loger, we can get it at Ruth's Chris. But you're coming in for Mr. Chow. Damn. My mouth is having little oral explosions right now. We're having oral explosions over here. <laughs> I'm telling you. Oh my God. The velvet chicken. Here's the velvet chicken right here. Look how they make that velvet chicken right there. It is absolutely, this has got to be one of the most fantastic dinners I've had. Look at this. These are actual filet mignon over here. This is filet mignon. There we go. Tony. How is it over here, Tony? This is absolutely, this is a fantastic choice. You know, Tony Malia, he knows food better than anybody, and he knows where he travels around the country.
I really like this chili sauce. We're gonna bring that chili sauce into the mix. Between the music, the atmosphere, the ambience, the company, you're not gonna get a better deal than what you got going on right here, baby. Sunday night, Sunday. You know, we're eating like kings here, Tony. We're eating like, literally, we're eating like kings this here. This could be our last meal. You never know. You don't want to risk it. <laughs> God forbid, if I get in an accident tonight on the way home, and I'm laying there in the emergency room, and they're open. I'm, first off, I'm gonna tell them, don't you cut the shirt. Don't, don't, they better not cut the shirt, okay? <laughs> open it up. All right, do not damage the shirt. And if they have to open me up, and they're gonna see, they say, Jesus Christ, that looks like food from Mr. Chow in there. They're gonna, they're gonna know. They're gonna know it's food from Mr. Chow. All right. They're gonna be handled with care for crying out loud. Huh? I would tell them, don't you pump my stomach. Don't you pump my stomach. I'm keeping that Mr. Chow food in there. All right, we're keeping that Mr. Chow in there. Oh, man. Look at that. Filet mignon cooked to perfection with all of that goodness on it. How is it? How, how are you doing over here? Fabulous. Fabulous. How's that chicken? Is that chicken like the... That, that's velvet chicken. That's got to be the best chicken I ever ate. I'm telling you what, I don't know what Mr. Chow is doing back there. Would you like another soda there? Mm. Bring it right over. How's dinner? Enjoying everything? I love Mr. Chow. Amazing. You tell Mr. Chow that I love him. You doing all right over there, Tony? Good. Jesus, grab it. This filet mignon, look at that beautiful filet mignon right there. Oh my God, that's cooked up perfection. Look at that. Sauteed green beans. I'm, I'm telling you what. How crazy is that? This is unbelievable, dude. This, this I, you know, I never thought they could make food like this. How would you think green beans would taste any better? Mm -hmm. Then Mr. Chow goes and does that. Let's get some more of that. Get some more of that velvet chicken. Oh. There you go. Eat it up, Tony. The rest is yours. No, no, I can't eat it. I'm done. I got enough. I got enough here. Gonna take some of that green beans. Sauteed green beans. You know, Tony, it's a little hard for us right now. It's a little hard for us to concentrate with the oral explosions going on here. Roll up our sleeves. Gonna put some of that chili sauce on that velvet chicken. I think that was the best choice, that velvet chicken. The velvet chicken's gotta be the best choice going today. I'm telling you what, that filet mignon was absolutely phenomenal as well. But with all the fresh vegetables and all of the, and the rice that goes with it, okay?
Maybe we should get some sake to go with this. You want to get some sake to go with <laughs> We get some sake going with this. Oh, boy. Be too full after this. You drink some of that sake. We'll be need, need a nap. We'll need a nap. I'll be needing a hospital. <laughs> Drinking some of that. Hey, you know what? Because this chili, this chili sauce has got to be the ultimate. Not too hot. Just got the perfect amount of kick to it. Enough chili in there. Now we're sitting right here on the beach, okay? We can go right out here. Look at this. You know, Miss Joanne, you know the world of fashion better than anybody. Okay? And the compliment coming from Joanne Kalish that knows it better than anybody. You know what? Let me tell you. I love the music in here. It's the same music as on your mixtape. It is fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> You actually have this on your cassette recorder. Mm -hmm. Do I eat the rest of that double chicken? I'm, I'm out. Oh. It's on you. Yeah, give it to me. That's the 120 minutes. Oh. TDK. TDK cassette. Yeah. That's quality, what it is, yeah. Quality. That's a high quality cassette. TDK, correct? That velvet chicken, I'm telling you what, you, I'm not letting any, if, seriously, Tony, if I was anywhere else, if I was anywhere else, I'd be licking this bowl. okay? I'd be licking the plates. My friend, if I was anywhere else, I would lick those bowls clean, okay? <laughs> if we weren't in public, it didn't. If I wasn't in public, if you put a little dirt on it, I would put a little dirt on it. I'd do it in public. public. You just want to stop him, huh? <laughs> <laughs> He just wants to come back here. So oh my God! I told yeah. him that they wouldn't let him back in. If they now, what do you have for dessert back there? So we have a few options. It's a verbal menu. Okay, we have uh, four cakes beginning with a chocolate cake. It comes with some chocolate crunches inside. We have a regular New York-based cheesecake with raspberry sauce. Ooh. I have a mixed berry tart. Ooh. I have a lemon meringue pie as well. And if you want to go light, I could do fresh lychee fruit for the table. I, I, the um, the tart that you had does that have ice cream? No, but I do have ice cream available. But I do chocolate cream. or vanilla, and I also have sorbets. You gonna have dessert or no? How many choices do we get? It's it's not part of the package menu. Oh, so it's not. Yeah, everything will so be. So we can just take whatever we want. What were the what were the choices again? So it's the um it's the chocolate cake with the chocolate crunches. I have a, the cheesecake with raspberry sauce, the mixed berry tart, and the lemon meringue pie, fresh lychee fruits, and the marinated oranges, the marinated and grand onion. The tart sounds good. Mm -hmm. the What's the biggest dessert? I would say the chocolate doesn't miss and the mixed berry don't miss either. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the chocolate cake is the chocolate cake good? Yeah. 
How would you like to combine a chocolate cake with the oranges? I think it will work together. That's, that's I don't want all of that. No, I just want the... Just uh, want what do you get? What do you get? I was the, I, you were talking about that tart. It sounded get good. Get the tart. Get the, the tart. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to just it. have a piece of it. What else, sure. what else you want? I can also get you coffee it? with that hot tea. or. or no, no. I don't want that. No. I just want the... Just bring them one tart. What kind of ice cream did you have? Ice cream. I'm going to do chocolate vanilla. And for sorbets, I have a lime. I have a raspberry and passion fruit. What kind of ice cream do you want? Oh, I don't care. Whatever you want. Um, I just want a little piece of that tart just to yeah. get the taste out of my mouth. Yeah, it's definitely going to be a palate cleanser. We'll definitely cleanse your palate. Make way for his next steak. <laughs> Send that tart right up. Yeah. You got it, sir. Send it right up. Is the, is the uh, passion sorbet good? or which, Yeah. Which is the best sorbet? I'll say passion and raspberry. Do, uh, we'll do the raspberry. Keep yeah, it all we'll do the, the raspberry. Sure. Sounds good. With pleasure. Thank you. I think that chili sauce too, oh, that was absolutely phenomenal. <laughs> you know, Tony, you're always traveling around the country. You eat like this everywhere you go? No. No. Normally I just go to Taco Bell. Taco Bell, really? You ain't eating no damn Taco Bell. You ain't eating no damn Taco Bell, okay? There ain't no Taco Bell. Just said. Setting low expectations for those out there. There you go. <laughs> oh my God. I love Mr. Chow. Right now I'm in love with Mr. Chow. Is there a Mrs. Chow back there? Uh, well, I'm new here, but we'll you the send, send his daughter, Mrs. Chow, out here. Yeah, okay. I want to sure be Mr. there. <laughs> for sure, he's going to be there. Oh my God. We are bringing it to you live right here. Oh, here we go. Here we go. It's time. Yeah, send that right out here. And bring that tart right out. And, and, and his, uh, his sorbet. All right. It's time. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time. It's time for a little dessert to go after that. What do we have? About five courses, sir. What's that? Five, six courses, sir. Now, you know, Tony, you have to understand. Did you eat any of the fried rice? I ate it all. No. There was no, I ate the bowl. I would have, I would have licked that bowl for you, too. Oh, my. Joanne, let me tell you, when you're sitting here with the man, the myth, the legend here. So explain to them a little bit about what you do, you travel around, you eat at some of the best restaurants in town. I've been on the run. You're on the I've been run. On the run for quite a while. Hardest working, one of the hardest working men I know, one of my close personal friends. Uh, we grew up together in Detroit, Michigan, in Sterling Heights, I should say, uh, from kindergarten all the way to 12th grade. Okay, he lived just a few streets down from me. Uh, you were actually at one of, a couple of my birthday parties. Um, I have pictures of T Tony and the rest of my uh, school friends. Um, his father owned Little Caesars uh, pizza franchise, and so he knows the world of food better than anybody. So we're going to wait for our dessert to come right now. Oh my. Filled up in here pretty good, huh? What? Filled up in here pretty oh good. Oh my God, I'm packed up. I think every, every table's every, Yeah, the whole restaurant, the whole restaurant is jam-packed right now. In fact, we got people, everybody wants to get a shot of Mr. Chow. And you know what, if you get the opportunity, if you go to Vegas, where else they have them? New York. New York. Beverly Hills. Beverly Hills. London. London, if you go to London, you gotta stop at Mr. Chow. If you come to Miami, please invite me. I will be more than happy to come down here to have a dinner and a shot at Mr. Chow's yet again. Now, what was that steakhouse you were talking about, S? 
S STK. We have STK Steakhouse. That's right. Steakhouse is the we're next. We're going for dinner. Yeah, we're going for dinner there. <laughs> we're going to dinner to STK Steakhouse. Oh my God, I'm full of it. <laughs> my mouth is having a little pool. Oh. Thank you. Oh my. So we're going to show you dessert. We're going to show you dessert and then we're going to. Uh, Pass out. Uh, pass out. Yeah, we're going to pass out. We're going to ask him to bring uh, our lounge chairs here. We're going to bring the lounge chairs out here. How here, it comes. here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. Look at the sorbet. We got sorbet over here. Look at, oh my God, look at that, dude. Look at this, dude. Look at that. Dude, get a load of what we got served up here. Huh? You know, Tony, <laughs> with the raspberry sorbet and the beautiful cheese. Look at that. Oh, my God. Look at that. Joanne wants to know if you come to D Denver. I haven't been to Denver in a while. Daryl Inwood. Daryl, we are here. We are here. Oh. We are here in Miami. As a matter of fact, Daryl Inwood, he knows Miami. Very well. Oh, we got a little sorbet. There we go. Can I have another little plate? Yeah. Let me have a little plate. Sorry. No, no. Cut that thing in half. Cut, cut it. Cut, yeah, cut this in half. Take it with you. I wouldn't even told him to get a plate. Take, take a lunch. Okay. Here we go. Look at this. There. Hey, get a load of this. No, nope, whatever you want. Just take it. Killing. We are eating like. Kings here. We're not kings. Greek, We're talking czars. We're talking uh, eating like czars. I'm right here. Look, there it is, Mr. Chop. Every plate is marked. There you go, Tony the Tiger. You know what? I'm not even gonna waste this. I'm not even gonna waste it. I'm just gonna eat this plate right here. We're gonna take this and dump it right on. There you go. Look at what we've got going on here. Oh my God. Let me tell you something, Joanne Kilish. You know, I, I, I How is it, Tony? We're gonna put a little bit of it. Look at this. That sorbet. Oh. Oh my God, dude. That raspberry, there's off, oh, dude. Hey, bud. Hey. What kind of, ra what, where did you get this sorbet? That's actually phenomenal. 100% raspberry. 100% fruit, 100% raspberry. Yeah. It's not puree. I see the reaction. Oh my God, it's not puree. It's the real ground. That's real ground raspberries. Jesus, gravity. Look at that tart. Look at that. Oh my God, this is fantastic. Good combination, right? Oh my God, dude, my mouth's having oral orgasms right now. <laughs> I'm having oral I'm orgasms. I thought it was either that or you had a heart attack. Mm, no. Could have went either way. Could have went either way, right? <laughs> Equal opportunity. <laughs> I'm gonna put some of this, I'm going, we're going to Club Live. <laughs> I'm putting some of this order behind my. Go, I'm putting this behind my <laughs> ears when I'm dancing down at the just uh, down here at the uh, really Fountain tasty. Blue. They're gonna give the girls something to nibble on back the here. Floor, go, you smell so good. <laughs> damn right, I smell good. I'm gonna smell damn good. Right. Oh my God, Tony. Tony, I never ate nothing like this, Tony. You know, my Facebook friends around the world. Oh my God. The only thing we would be better if we brought Uncle John with us. <laughs> For well, Uncle John. Uh, huh? If I brought my 93-year-old Uncle John down here, the look on his face. 
That would be an adventure. Oh, that would be unbelievable. We'll bring him and Mama Mary. How about that? Boy, I would lick this plate with that raspberry sauce on it. <laughs> I would be licking this up. I'm telling you what. That's that, it. Oh my God. That's it, huh? I'm glad you like it. That was it. absolutely phenomenal. Ooh. Right on, right on. You want me to get you anything else, maybe? Or was that, did that hit the spot? Tom, bring me the bill. You got it. Bring me the bill. Maybe a defibrillator. <laughs> well, hold on, I got it. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Dinner jacket after five o'clock. How was that, Tony? Beautiful. You know, my friend, every time you come down here, you know, this is my brother here. This is the brother that I should have had instead of the shit that I got, okay? <laughs> this is the brother I am instead of the shit that I Thank got. Thank you, gentlemen. Oh, here. I got it. Let me take care of it. Let me give it half. Can I do half with you? You got one. Huh? You got love. You gotta love this guy. Well, you gotta love it. Oh, Tony. Oh my God. Now, when are you flying out of here? Tomorrow? Tomorrow. What time? Um, I think uh, five. Five o'clock? Okay. Oh my God. You know, I wanted to change it up a little bit tonight. I figured, you know, I could always wear a shirt, jacket, and tie, but you're gonna wear a little Versace under a white jacket for sport turn. I'm gonna sneak away here. Go to the little, the little boy's room. Go ahead, I'll be waiting for you. I'll be back. You'll be back. Oh, I got my little my little mask here, so don't think for a second that I'm not leaving without a mask. Oh. How am I looking right now, huh? No, you man. think I'm gonna come in here looking like some hillbilly gym? Huh? <laughs> he says, he looks like I own the place. Well, my name's not Mr. Chow, unfortunately, but I had some good chow here. I'm gonna tell you what, if you wanna talk about one of the best restaurants in Miami, you gotta come down here to Mr. Chow, okay? You're gonna get one of the best meals ever. And right now, it's sitting on Mr. Stomach's, this is Sunshine Stomach right now. Delbert, let me tell you something, Delbert. You may find yourself sitting right over here with yours truly, Mr. Sunshine. As a matter of fact, I'm sitting here with Louie, I brought Louie along, I got my stuff in here, you know, a lot of people, you, you don't understand, there's a lot of stuff you gotta carry, okay? You gotta carry backup batteries, you gotta carry all the sunglasses, you gotta carry all the stuff that you need, and I can't fill my pockets walking through, so you gotta carry a little Louie to go with it. So we're gonna be heading on out, go ahead, you rake that up. Oh my. Ooh. As a matter of fact, look at this, here you go. Look at this, this is outside. Oh, let me turn the light down. This is outside. There's the outside dining. You can see the outside dining area out there. It's a beautiful uh, atmosphere. This is inside. We are totally filled to capacity right now. Everybody's coming in. The restaurant is packed up. You can see all the people filled up. We got a reservation here. City Rose. You know, Senator, let me tell you, we just got done eating a fantastic dinner, okay? Mr. Chow. As a matter of fact, you know what I'm gonna do for you? I'm gonna I'm gonna ring your chimes for you right now. So there you go. We're gonna ring your chimes. There it is. Okay. There it is. Okay, here, make it a little bit better right now. Okay. So we can sit here. 
wait until we're ready to leave. As a matter of fact, uh, we're sitting there with one of these on tonight, so we're going to make sure that Gianni Versace and yours truly, Mr. Sunshine, is going to be looking presentable. As a matter of fact, let's turn that back. We'll put a little light on the subject. There you go. We're going to put a little light on the subject here. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, you my friend. Evening, All right. Course, you are the man. All right. Oh, God. Oh, that was a, you know what? We had one of the most fantastic dinners. Uh, if you're getting that opportunity to come down here to Mr. Chow. Come to Mr. Chow. They have one in London. They have one in Beverly Hills. They have one in New York. And they have the one here in uh, Las Vegas and in Miami. That's, we're here at the Miami version uh, right here. Come on over here, man. You know what? I want to thank you so much. You want to say hello? Come on over here. Just say hello to my friends. This is my <laughs> handsome waiter right here. You, you. Well, you tell Mr. Chow I love him. Right. He's the best. All right. All right. And I love you too. Thank you, Chad. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right. On behalf of Mr. Sunshine and the Sunshine Media Group, uh, we're going to go ahead and sign off right now. I'm going to come back live a little bit later. Uh, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the dinner tonight. Uh, and again, as always, God loves you and Eddie does. Too. Thank you for watching Mr. Sunshine Live with Tony the Tiger Malia, my close personal friend. Mwah. Woo!